Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to stream to TikTok from your PC. Previously you could stream to TikTok with OBS, but I suppose they removed this possibility. So as you can see there is no button to stream here. And if you go to live, this is just going to be a tab where you can watch live streams and not set up your own live stream. But we can still stream to TikTok, for that go to the top right corner, then choose live studio. From here you need to download a free application for Windows to go live to TikTok. As you can see, go live with more ease and better engagement. Download it for Windows, install it to your PC. I'm downloading now. Okay, now the download is finished. Let's install the app to our PC. Just press install. Very simple installation process. Now press on run and finish. Now let's maximize the window and log in into our account to start streaming. All right, I am now logged in. If you're a beginner and you wish to learn how to stream to TikTok from their dedicated TikTok application, just press on Setup Now. Now from these settings, very simple, you want to choose your microphone first. So I'm using this microphone right here. And you can also choose a camera. I do not currently have the web camera in my PC. You can also see that I'm talking right now and it's showing a visual indicator that my microphone is being used then click next. Now basically this will ensure your connection is stable enough to stream and it's going to test your speed a bit so just wait. Alright after passing this test after that it will test your computer as well if it meets the requirements to stream then press OK. Alright so from these settings just like in OBS you would choose we have video quality for example you could choose 60 FPS full HD your monitor's resolution, you can go lower if you want. Frame rate, video bitrate is one of the most important settings you can use. As you can see, the max bitrate is 10,000. I would suggest going anywhere between 6,000 and 8,000. You can go 10 if your internet can cope with that. Audio bitrate, just leave it at default. Encoder, I suggest using the hardware encoder. As you can see, my GPU supports. As you can see, my GPU supports H265 hard codec. I'm going to use this one. You can also choose to turn on stream latency and if your screen is turning green you can check this button right over here compatibility mode then press next and now basically just choose the kind of scenes that you want to do so just choose for example landscape mode if you're going to stream from your computer or you can choose portrait mode as well but that's mostly for the phones. You can also choose a layout where your camera is going to be and all the other elements as well. You can also choose a theme if you want, then click on finish. And now to go live, basically you need to click on go live button. Before that, of course, you need to set up all of the necessary windows you're going to stream. So as you can see, I have TikTok application open. You can also choose other applications to stream as well. So for that, just click on add source. From here, you can capture all the various types of your sources in your computer, you can stream your entire display, you can stream your game, camera, you can stream a specific window, for example if you want to stream your browser for example or something. You can also cast your Android or iOS phone into here as well, or the capture card if you have one inserted. For that just click add, and when you're done setting everything up, just press on go live, and you're set up and ready to go. Also you will have a different statistics shown here as well. Basically the percentage of your CPU used by the app, the memory usage, your internet usage, basically upload speed, frame drops, also very important for streaming. If you have high frame drops that means your internet or computer can't keep up with streaming and of course it shows how much FPS you have. If this video helps you guys also do not forget to subscribe to our channel to not miss our future videos. Also for that do not forget to click on the notification bell if this helped, leave a comment, press the like button, and I will see you in the future tutorials. Thank you for watching.